today we are going to discuss range in discrete series and range in continuous series okay so in this method that is range in discrete series or range in continuous series one important thing you have to understand is no need to consider frequency number of persons okay you have to consider largest and smallest values of x variable only and this applies to continuous series also ante vyapti kanukodaniki vichinna shreni lo kavachu avichinna shreni lo kavachu manamu pauna punyalanu teesukovalsina avasaram ledhu this is the important thing then what you have to consider you have to consider largest value and smallest value so you know the formula for range range is equal to l minus s so in this problem 17 minus 12 is equal to 5 so range is equal to 5 that's all okay students and when you come to coefficient of range coefficient of range what is the formula l minus s divided by l plus s and that comes to what so here 17 17 minus 12 divided by 17 plus 12 that comes to that comes to 5 divided by 29 5 divided by 29 okay if you divide that 5 divided by uh 29 let us have a calculator okay so here 5 divided by 29 is equal to 0.172 is equal to 0.172 that is the answer that is in discrete series so my dear students you have to understand that frequency will not be given any importance in discrete series and also in continuous series and when you come to continuous series class intervals are given okay so 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 like that class intervals will be given and in this is in this also only you are going to take largest value and smallest value how you are going to take them So, for example, if this is the first class interval, this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this is the last class interval. Okay, in the first interval, in the first class interval, you are take, you are going to take the lowest value. Okay, lowest value. So, lowest value is smallest value or lowest value is ten, isn't it? And in the last class interval, that is seventy to eighty. What is the? Uh, I mean. Highest value here eighty, isn't it? So here L is equal to eighty, largest value. Okay, students. And in ten to twenty, what is the smallest value in the class interval? In this class interval, so smallest value is equal to ten. That's all. Okay. Now, what is the formula for range? R is equal to L minus S, yes, isn't it? So eighty minus ten is equal to Seventy. So our range is equal to seventy. That's all. Okay. And let us find out coefficient of range. Coefficient of range. What is the formula? L minus s divided by l plus s. Isn't it? L minus s is equal to eighty minus ten divided by eighty plus ten. And that comes to what? Seventy divided by ninety. Seventy divided by ninety. So you can cancel zero zero, and now you have only seven by nine. So seven by nine. If you divide that seven divided by nine, what do you get? That comes to zero point zero point triple seven eight. This is the answer. that's all my dear students it's very easy for you to understand and practice problems in range 
individual series, discrete series and continuous series. There is no difference. The only thing in continuous series is you are going to take lower value in first class interval and upper value in last class interval. That's all. Thank you for watching this video and we shall meet again with quartile deviation in the next video. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you so much.